Peter Hitchies. Well, where did this sexu sexualization come from exactly? Why is it that we now have this, this Babylon, which, which, which even affects small children? And could it conceivably be because we decided back in the 1960s to change our moral climate? This is actually a job for the Archbishop, not for me, it seems to me, that we decided that we were going to stop being a Protestant Christian country which believed that the main form of sexual relationship was lifelong marriage and that we were fairly Puritan about sex and to become instead a post Lady Chatterley society in which sex was like tennis. It was just something you did, it was pleasure, there were no rules about it, and everybody should talk about it all the time. It should be on television the whole time, it should be on the radio the whole time, it should form the lyrics of all the songs that people listen to, which it is. Out of the radio it comes, out of the television it comes, out of the internet it comes. They go to school and they get sex education, which is actually all about taking away their, 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 their innocence. And all these forces combined, that's what, 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 else, what, else is the, what else is the purpose of sex education? We're told again and again, again and again, that it's, it's supposed to stop, it's supposed to stop underage pregnancy, it's supposed to stop sexually transmitted diseases. And what happens? The more sex education we have, the more sexually transmitted diseases. The more abortion, the more underage pregnancy we have. It's demonstrably so. If that's, so, okay, you're in favour of the sexualization of children, then we've got that straight. <laughs> and, indeed, and indeed you are, our culture is. And so, uh, and so to, start, to stand here after, after 50 years of this and say, oh, let's have a law against, against selling padded bras to small children, seems to me to be on the level of futile gesture. Okay.